And I can read book level two. Arthur's prize reader. It was a rainy afternoon. Violet was looking at picture books. Arthur was reading comics. I am going to win the first grade reading contest, said Violet. The one who reads the most books gets to win. You can't read, remember? said Arthur. Yes, I can, said Violet. I can read Little Bear. Show me, said Arthur. Violet, read. It is cold. See the snow. See the snow come down. Little Bear said, Mother Bear, I am cold. That is easy, said Arthur. Now read something hard. Read a super chimp comic. I can't, said Violet. The words are too hard. Then you can't read, said Arthur. If you can read easy words, you can read hard words too. Show me how, said Violet. Read what it says here. Arthur read very slowly. Hurry, hurry! Join the Super Chimp Club. Win a picture of King Kong. Now you try, said Arthur. Violet read very slowly. And dinner for two at your favorite restaurant. Oh boy, said Arthur. Dinner for two with King Kong. It doesn't say that, said Violet. Yes, it does, said Arthur. You just can't read hard words. He put on his raincoat and his hat. He put on his scarf and his mittens. Where are you going? asked Violet. I am going to be a super chimp club super salesman, said Arthur. If I sell the most super chimp comics, I get to win. Where does it say that? asked Violet. Right here, said Arthur. Violet read slowly. Sell super chimp comics door to door. Sign up the most kids and win. I read hard words, said Violet, and they were easy. Those were not hard words, said Arthur, and anyway, I helped you. If I help you, can I get to be the other one of the two for dinner? asked Violet. All right, said Arthur. You go get a pencil, some paper, and a purse to keep the money in. I will get a pile of old Super Chimp comics so people can see what they will get. I need my raincoat and my hat, too, said Violet, and she ran to get her things. Whose house shall we go to first? asked Violet when she came back. My Super Chimp comic says we have to try every house, said Arthur. Where does it say that? asked Violet. Right here, said Arthur. Violet read slowly. A Super Chimp salesman knocks at every door. Those were hard words, said Violet. No, they weren't, said Arthur. Now let's go.
Arthur and Violet started down the road. Arthur, called Norman. Go, go, Gorilla is playing at the movies. You want to go? I can't, said Arthur. I am trying to win the Super Chimp contest. What do you win? asked Norman. Dinner for two with King Kong, said Arthur. King Kong is a fake, said Norman. You can't have dinner with him. Wilma's big sister is in love with King Kong, said Violet. He must be real. No, he isn't, said Norman. Well, said Arthur, my super chimp comic does not lie. It says I can win dinner for two with King Kong. Where does it say that? asked Norman. Right here, said Arthur. He took out his pile of Super Chimp comics. Arthur looked at the comic on top of the pile, but it did not say anything about the contest. Help me look, said Arthur to Violet. You look at this pile. I can read hard words. Said Violet to Norman. See, it says here, send for magic monster kit. Build a better monster. Those are not hard words, said Arthur. Where does it say about King Kong? Asked Norman. I think I left that one at home, said Arthur. I bet it doesn't say dinner with King Kong," said Norman. "Anyway, Go Go Gorilla is better." And Norman rode off to the movies. Arthur and Violet walked down the road some more. After a while, they came to a house. "I will knock on the door," said Arthur. You get the pencil and paper ready. Wilma's big sister babysits in this house," said Violet. "I think she's babysitting now." Wilma's big sister came to the door. She was carrying a baby. "You woke up the baby," said Wilma's big sister. And you are getting mud and rain all over the front porch. Now go play somewhere else. We are not playing," said Violet. "We are here to sell Super Chimp comics. If we sign up the most kids, we get to win dinner for two with King Kong," said Arthur. "King Kong is nothing but a pile of old fur." Said Wilma's big sister. I thought you loved King Kong," said Violet. "That was last year," said Wilma's big sister. "This year I have a hobby. My hobby is dancing. See, I can dance on my toes." She turned round and round on her toes. The baby screamed very loud. My hobby is myself," said Violet. "I can read hard words by myself, and they are easy." The baby screamed louder. Wilma's big sister turned faster and faster. The baby screamed so loud his face turned purple. Wilma can read hard words," yelled Wilma's big sister. But she does not always know what they mean. I do," shouted Violet. "They mean what they say." Do you want to buy Super Chimp comics or not? Yelled Arthur. Not," shouted Wilma's big sister. 
she turned round and round very fast and slammed the door. Arthur and Violet walked down the road some more. After a while, they came to another house. There was a sign on the gate in front of the house. Violet said, Arthur, I am reading very hard words on that sign and they say, No trespassing. Beware of dog. It doesn't mean anything, said Arthur. And those aren't very hard words. Yes, they are very hard words, said Violet. And I know what that sign means. It means a very nasty dog lives in that house, and we better not go there. My Super Chimp comic says nothing ever stops a super salesman from making a sale, said Arthur. What does the Super Chimp comic say about very big nasty dogs? asked Violet. Because here is one right now! A large black dog came running. He barked and growled. He showed his teeth. Arthur said, Maybe we should try another house. Arthur started to run. Violet ran after him. The big black dog ran after both of them. Arthur! called Violet. That dog can read. He stopped at the sign. Arthur turned to look. He ran right into a tree and fell in the mud. His pile of Super Chimp comics fell in the mud, too. Now look what you made me do, said Arthur. Well, said Violet. Whose house should we go to now? Our house, said Arthur. I am all covered with mud. The Super Chimp comics are all covered with mud. And anyway, that dog can't read. He just knows to stop at his gate. He can't read and you can't either. Oh yes, I can, said Violet. I can read easy words, I can read hard words, and I know what they mean. Violet picked up a super chimp comic and brushed off the mud. Here is one that tells about the contest, she said. See, it says right here, win a picture of King Kong and dinner for two at your favorite restaurant. That does not say you win dinner for two with King Kong. That says you win dinner for two and you win a picture of King Kong. Violet started to walk down the road. Where are you going? called Arthur. I am going home to read so I can win the first grade reading contest, said Violet. The one who reads the most books gets to win ice cream sodas for two at his favorite ice cream store. Don't forget I helped you learn to read, called Arthur. So I get to be the other one of the ice cream sodas for two. The next day, when Violet came home from school, she said, my teacher says I am her best first grade reader. I read the most books and I know what all the words mean. That is because I helped you, said Arthur. Now let's go get the ice cream sodas. Arthur and Violet went to their favorite ice cream store. What flavors do you have? asked Arthur. We have lots of flavors, said the waiter, and he gave them a menu. Look, Arthur, 
said Violet. It says here on the menu, try our fabulous frozen Fantasia Deluxe. What does that mean? Asked Arthur. Oh, it just means ice cream sodas dripping with chocolate and whipped cream, and served over two scoops of yummy ice cream. Where does it say that? Asked Arthur. Right here, said Violet. Well, said Arthur. I guess I really did show you how to read hard words.